What's going on? I was just telling Robin about this loser that my dad hired to bartend at the Haunted Star. I mean, the guy can't open his mouth without lies popping out of it. It's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like an art form for him or a hobby or a challenge. I mean, that's the only reason that I can think that he would come up with, I mean, today he was, came up with this lie that, you know, no one got hurt or dead, so why don't we just drop it? Okay, I'm lost here. Would drop what? My dad, he's hired this new bartender. No, okay, let's be painfully honest. <laughs> the great Luke Spencer, con artist for the ages, has just been conned. He's let himself get taken in by a grifter who's using the Haunted Star as a base for operation. I mean, this Ethan is so obviously trouble, and my dad doesn't even see it. The guy's not even subtle, because today you he know, was talking about- I'm really about sorry. I wish I could help you, but if your dad won't listen to you, he's certainly not gonna listen to me. Could you check on her, please? Who else? Thank you. Okay, just listen to me for a second, all right? You have no idea what it's been like around here. Ever since Emma came into the world, Patrick went racing past overprotective to raging paranoia, okay? If, if he knew that my wallet was in the proximity of a grifter at a casino in the middle of the day, I swear my husband would flip into orbit and I would never get him back. So, you're gonna let Ethan's Big lie slide? Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because the only thing it will do will be to create more drama. I mean, everything's in my wallet. I have all my cash and all my credit cards. Just promise me that you'll drop the whole thing. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. You won't say a word to Patrick. Emma's asleep. Good. How's Lulu? Oh, she's fine. <laughs> she just, I don't know, this new guy, Ethan, or something, she's afraid that he's taking advantage of her dad. I, I, I don't know why she thought I could help. So it's not an emergency or anything? No. She just needed to vent, I think. That's good, so we can move on. Robin, I'd like to discuss what happened at Mercy today. Can we not? I, I you know, I really don't want to fight with you anymore. Well, that's good. Neither do I. I love you. And I know you love me, and we have everything we need. Everything we've ever wanted. We're married, we have a beautiful little daughter, a new home. I don't understand why you're so unhappy. So it makes you feel better if you can slap a label on it, like postpartum depression? So, as far as you're concerned, me having postpartum is the answer to all of our problems because, well, you can understand it, right? Diagnosis and treatment. Here's the scenario, okay? Tell me if you think I'm wrong. I go to a shrink, I talk about all my problems, they give me some medication, and then all of a sudden, problem solved. I don't know if you think mocking the situation is, is going to help or not, but I think therapy is something that I would like to explore. It would be a waste of time and money because I don't have postpartum depression, okay? I am just the person that I've always been. I am Robin. I, I just happen to also be a mother, okay? And I admit it is a lot more than I bargained for. And good for you. I'm glad that you're handling it just fine, but in all fairness, your expectations were much lower. The reality is I just don't want to stay home all day, okay? I miss my work. No medication or amount of talking to somebody is going to help that. I need my life back. Well, that sounds great, Robin. But where does our daughter fit into that little equation? Has changed. Why does that make you edgy? You make me edgy, Robin. I love my daughter, but I'm starting to resent the fact that I'm the only one that takes care of her when I'm home. <clears throat> you mean the few hours that you're here in between shifts? What do you think it's like to be here all day? That's what you wanted. Well, now I'm telling you I want something different. We've already discussed getting a nanny, but we never actually do it because you're so passive-aggressive about the whole Fine, situation. Fine, you want a nanny? We'll get a nanny. And in the meantime, I'll stay home and devote my time to childcare. It doesn't matter if someone might need a brain surgeon. Right, because your job is so much more important than mine. Hi. 
Hi. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry, is this a bad time? No, it's fine. I wanted to uh, talk to you about something. There was this test to see if Michael would be a good candidate for an experimental yeah, procedure. Uh, I talked to Sonny about it, but I have to say that the odds of this working are not... I know all about the odds. I'm okay with the odds. I just really want you to perform the test. <laughs>